What's up everybody, Trobin Gaming here. Now Microsoft just ended their E3 press conference and of course I'm going to talk about it. Um, I'm going to keep this video pretty short because EA is already about to get started. You know, there's only like an hour in between these press conferences. So I'm very busy, I have to get everything out there really quickly. Um, but yeah, Microsoft, their press conference. Now I thought it was quite interesting. My first, you know, thoughts right now are that I'm, to be honest, a little disappointed. And don't call me out to be a fanboy or something. Um, I'm just, you know, looking at this in an objective, you know, with my own. With, with an objective mind, right? Um, I thought that what I have to give them credit for at first, Microsoft, is that they really kept it to the games. It was all about games. They said beforehand that they were gonna do that, uh, and they lived up to that. There's, you know, I have like a list there on my telephone with all the great titles we've seen announced, and there's around, you know, 20 of them. And it was really just all about that. They kept going from gameplay to gameplay to gameplay from all these different games. However, the games themselves just didn't really blow me away. There wasn't really anything that I thought, you know, was like was like ridiculously special or something um, yeah I mean I guess I'll just have to uh, talk about everything that's on the list but I'll go over everything pretty quickly they started off with Call of Duty Advanced Warfare uh, Microsoft really likes to do that of course I wasn't blown away by it you know that's that's pretty much my general opinion about the whole press conference like I said and Call of Duty I think is definitely the uh, definitive example of that because the gameplay looked good, I thought, you know, the game looked significantly better than any of the previous Call of Duty games. Uh, the gameplay in itself, though, was very much what we could just expect from Call of Duty. And I wasn't expecting anything different, um, but I just thought that overall there wasn't even that much shooting that happened or anything. It was just, you know, one big set piece, set piece again. Uh, it was just campaign. I want to see the multiplayer. That's ultimately what we're going to see, you know, what we're going to play the most in Call of Duty. Uh, so the single player is just going to be something we're, we're going to go through in like five, five hours and then, um, you know, you know, it's done, we're not ever playing that again. Um, so next up they followed up with Forza, I mean that's cool, they had Forza Horizon 2 of course, which we already knew about because they already announced that a few weeks back. Uh, we got some gameplay for Evolve, now that game uh, is actually looking more and more interesting as I see more of it because uh, first of all the graphics are just amazing, but it's this kind of like, I, I actually don't really know what's, what it's really about, it's like 4v1 monsters versus, uh, versus one monster or something. Uh, the concept is really cool, I hope they can work it out to be a very fun and cool game. Now, next up came a, bit of, a little bit of a surprise because they had Assassin's Creed Unity. I expected to see this at the Ubisoft press conference, but we already got it here. Uh, the game looks really good. It does look kind of like, you know, just a, a next Assassin's Creed entry. Nothing, once again, nothing really mind-blowing. Um, I did think that the graphics were improved. Nothing, you know, really special, like I said. I keep repeating myself here, but whatever. Uh, what I did really notice is how there were so many humans, you know, on the same in the same area and stuff. That's something you you just couldn't do before with the PlayStation 3, with the Xbox 360. Uh, I remember, you know, the Assassin, the new Assassin, what's he called, Arno or something, uh, uh, climbing on a roof or whatever, and you could see the whole view of this big garden uh, of the whole, uh, you know, the, the whole mansion and stuff. Looked really awesome. Assassin's Creed Unity, definitely a game. I am very interested in, hope we see more at the Ubisoft press conference because uh, that's going to be one to keep your eyes on. Then we got Dragon Age, a new trailer for that. Wasn't really anything, uh, you know, anything big because uh, we just had some, uh, some cinematics and stuff, nothing gameplay wise. Death Rising 3 DLC, that's cool. Uh, some more gameplay for Fable Legends. Game looked really, uh, re really pretty, I guess. Um, Project Spark, we got some information about. And a new game called Ori, I think. I think it is new. I'm actually not sure if it was already announced. Uh, I'm pretty sure it is new. Uh, yeah, Ori also looked, you know, decent, looked good. Lo had a very, uh, very different style from anything else. And I think now is really the point where we get to the very interesting games. Now is the point where we get to the uh, Fall 2015 titles that we actually saw. So we saw Halo 5 and what we saw of that was just uh, cinematics. Nothing in game, no gameplay at all. So you know, I don't really know what to think about that. We already had cinematics last year, so I wanted to see gameplay now. Even though it's coming out in the next year, uh, I already wanted to see more of it, and we didn't get to see that. That was just a shame. Uh, so they announced the Halo Master Chief Collection, which is pretty much all Halo games in one bundle, remastered. At least the first and the second games uh, are remastered, and I think 3 and 4 are pretty much... Um, you know, with the same kind of graphics that you had on the 360. Multiplayer of Halo 2 is included. I know many people really love that multiplayer, so you'll be able to play that with all the maps redone and stuff. Um, so that's that's definitely great for all the Halo fans. So the next game they showed, I think, was really interesting. It's called Inside, and it's from the creators of Limbo. I absolutely love Limbo, played it on my uh, PS Vita, and this new game, Inside, kind of felt like a very similar game. Uh, it, had a, it had a very, you know, very, very original style to it or something. This very depressing world and there were some kind of characters that acted like zombies or whatever it was really weird like they were all following the same pattern and stuff 
Um, I am very interested to see more of this. We didn't see too much. We saw some what seemed to be gameplay, I, I think. It's, it's probably going to be the same kind of game as Limbo. You know, puzzle games, trying to get through areas without being seen and stuff. Um, yeah, you know, I, I'm excited to see more. We got a lot of indie games as well, like a full sizzle reel of like five to ten indie games, I believe. Of course, Microsoft had to do something with that after Sony really said that they were about the indie games. Microsoft just had to follow suit. And then came the big announcement, Rise of the Tomb Raider. Now, we, it, it wasn't really a surprise because we all knew that the new Tomb Raider was going to be coming. I was already interested if they were going to call Tomb Raider 2 or like a new title. Well, it's called Rise of the Tomb Raider. Again, just CGI, no gameplay, no in-game footage. Um, so it just doesn't tell me that much. I, I did see this big ice world, so I'm, I'm, in, I'm, you know, I'm thinking, will this have some kind of ice setting or something? Um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see more. So then there's five games left. Uh, one of them is The Witcher 3, where we got uh, about five to ten minutes in games, you know, just, just gameplay of it. Uh, the game looks amazing, even on the Xbox One. What we've seen of it, definitely for the for the real RPG fans, this is going to be a must-have for sure. And then we had two new IPs. One is Phantom Dust, the other one is Scalebound with these big dinosaurs, it seems. Um, and finally, to finish it off, we have two more games. One is The Division, which we already saw announced at the Ubisoft press conference. Also something I just didn't expect uh, to see here, because Ubisoft is still coming up, of course. They're going to show more of that. The game looks amazing. It still looks the same, so no downgrades yet. Don't worry about that. It's nothing like Watch Dogs or something right now. Um, let's hope they'll keep it, uh, you know, at that. And finally, Crackdown, a new Crackdown game, was already kind of leaked. Everybody knew it was coming, um, so that wasn't a surprise there. And, you know, I've been going over all these games really fast now, I know that, I just don't want this video to become too long. What I want to say about the Xbox press conference is that I thought it was good, they kept it at the games, it was just about games, no television services at all or whatever, uh, but then again, nothing really blew me away. So I would give the Microsoft press conference a 7.5 out of 10. Uh, and now it's time, of course, to watch EA, and I'll be uploading my video about that uh, in the next couple of hours. So stay tuned, thanks a lot for watching.